And if you was the one, put your feelings aside, we can keep this low. Feeling your vibe on the regular. God sent me a sign from the stars above. Had to decide if you was the one, put your feelings aside, we can keep this low. Feeling your vibe on the regular. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Sass, and I'm back with another one, Straight Fakes. If you haven't already, make sure you drop those comments down below. Subscribe to this channel. Make sure you hit the bell on the side to get notified when a girl posts. And what? What? Last but not least, make sure you like this video up. Like this one, the last one, the last one, and the last one before that. Do those steps for your girl. Do it for me. Do it for everyone and the whole team. So, um, I am back with another mukbang, as y'all guys can tell. I'm, I had, like, one, I told y'all maybe about a week ago that I had put, like, um, you know, any kind of, like, girl talks or talks that y'all want me to do. Um, so, one of the topics, I did the topic, um, it was, um, something about how to value yourself or respect yourself and t tips on how to value yourself. But this one, my cousin gave me, and I was like, this is a good one. This is a good one. So, the topic was is love and sex or is love or sex love and sex is it like overrated baby i think i did a video on this probably on the old channel or i might have did it on this channel i don't know but um basically asking asking me or talking about is sex overrated or is love you know so we're about to get into this video in three two one let's go hmm i feel like sex can be overrated and it also depends on like the relationship and how long you've been with this person if it's true love there if it's like a real connection uh like i said once before in one of my old videos that um a relationship is really based off friendship like how good y'all buying is how good y'all foundation is like things like that i mean i feel like it can be overrated like people be like i don't know they be amped up hyped up like amp amp up on all sex and i just don't understand i just don't understand like what's the hype about like that's why i told you in my last video i advise any teenager feeling themselves 14 15 16 17 feeling yourself you know make sure if you have if you have sex is with the right right person for real because it's like sometimes once you get it it don't be your best sometimes when you get it it don't be what you're looking for like it it it, it, it and i feel like it is overrated i do and let me tell you why one second so the number one reason why i feel like sex is overrated is because People spend maybe like the whole like adolescent stage thinking about sex. Like, you know, when I'm gonna get this special person, when I'm gonna break it, when I'm gonna, you know, find the love of my life, when I'm gonna do this and do this. And when I tell y'all like, people be so in a rush, they be so in a rush to have sex. And they be like, especially boys, let me tell y'all, every time I meet a dude, and people be like, oh, sass, you mean, you mean, you this, you this. And I told y'all once before, my sister told me, never lower your standards. And I have standards. But it's not like, it's not bad standards. It's just that when you find the right person or when you find somebody that may be like, what you looking for? And then I start talking to you and it haven't even been a good ass week. And they are talking about sex. That's what I be talking about. Like, it be so much power and emphasis on emphasis on like sex, this, sex, this, sex, this, and it's not what it be hyped up like to seem like. Like, it's not, it's not all of that. It's not all of that. Maybe I haven't found the right person to match. Well, you know, people how people be you know amped up about that. But yes, I do. I really do feel like sex is overrated. I do. I looked at some tips and i took down some tips from google is in my notes on my laptop my laptop is right here so it says when sex is about power inti intimacy is absent and i agree when it's about like power like oh, i'm gonna get her i'm gonna you know i'm gonna do this and being all aggressive like the intimacy the intimacy is not there like 
it's, it's really not there. Like, that's why I say in order to be able to, for me to connect with like somebody having sex with somebody, I feel like their friendship have to be there. Like, it don't necessarily have to be there, but at least let me know something about you so where I can write in maybe at least a paragraph about you. Like, your name, your age, where you was born, what you like to do, um, your goals, what you got going for yourself. Like, certain things like that. People... They don't talk about, they don't talk about, and I be feeling like, damn, like, I feel like I'll be asking for too much, but I look at myself and I look at other people like YouTubers and my mentors, I be looking at all the other people and they be like, girl, you're not doing nothing wrong. It's just that what they going for and they going for sex. I don't like at all. I don't. Number two is when sex is something you strategize to get, then brag about getting after the fact it's hard to enjoy the moment and it really is like i could be i could be talking to this boy and i'd be like damn you know he a really nice guy talking to my friends about him and you know thinking he like really the one and all alone he talking to his friends you know he just strained me alone you know just the you know like if I ask him a question, he just saying saying the answers or saying stuff just to you know brush it under the rug or just get me going. And then a month later, two weeks later, bragging about like, oh I smashed this, oh I finally got in there. Like it's hard to sit there and really be like, yeah this was the dude or whatever. And all alone you wanted sex. Like, come on now. I just don't get. I just don't get. I don't at all. But five, it says, when sex is about your need for acceptance, you can't meet your own needs, much less your partner of intimacy and love. Okay. I agree. <laughs> I agree. I'm about to tell y'all what it's seen, and I'm going to tell y'all my perspective. Well, I'm going to tell y'all my perspective of it first. The reason why I agree with number five is because it's exactly what I meant. By you being so hard up about having sex, you can't really enjoy your needs, like, if I got a real connection with this person. Like, fuck the sex part, fuck the sex part. If I really have like an intimate love relationship with this person and I'm just feeling for sex, 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 it's not gonna get no well. You just gonna be having sex with this person and there's no connection there. Now, overall, it may be some type of feelings there. That's why I be telling my friends, like, or people who I be talking to about this, like, it's hard for, well, me personally, I don't know how everybody is different, but having sex with somebody and you know when you when you in a spell moment i ain't even gonna lie when you in a spell moment you telling this person damn i love you love is a strong word too i love you you know you know sexual things when you having sex and it creates emotion it creates feelings but like i can't see how people i can't see how people do that Maybe I'm different, you know, y'all let me know in the comments if I'm different or y'all, you know, like that too. But like, I just can't, I cannot do that. I can't do that. And I don't see how people have sex with this person, this person, this person, and maybe one person and maybe for like a month or two months or whatever. And y'all just, you know, having y'all a sexual relationship. I can't see along that line, you don't have no type of feelings, no type of emotion to this person. Like, and that's why that's why I agree with this. Like sex is it's just the need for acceptance. You don't really get that intimacy or that love out of it. Um, it says if your goal is getting sex to be accepted and respected by your peers, you're ignoring your own basic human needs to intimate um companionship and love, and you're ignoring your partner's need for those things as well. Agreed. Agreed. You see, think about it this way. If a huge part of sex is pleasure, who are you trying to please and why? Experiencing sex put the focus where it belongs, on your relationship with your partner instead of your position on 
the totem pole with your peer groups. Now I agree. I'm going to read that one more time. It said, think about it this way. If a huge part of sex is pleasure, who are you trying to please and why? Based off, like, you know, everything going on and, you know, the society and how people is in this generation now, they be so amped up about sex. They be so amped up about sex. It's like, who are you trying to please? Like, why are you trying to please your... Huh? Don't make me get on that. Because it took for my friends. And I kept telling my friends, like, you're not going to peer pressure me into having sex when... You can't predict the future. You cannot predict the future. You can't predict, like... Oh, within the next week, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna not be a virgin. Like you can't, you can't predict that. You can't predict it at all. Like it's so many dudes out there, but so many dudes are not the right dudes. They, they just not. They got some ancient ass niggas. I'm telling y'all, like for real, for real, like for real, for real. Like I just don't know. I just don't know. And it really do. And it bothers me. It bothers me. I be like, damn, like. These niggas ain't shit. But, and then the second part, it say experiencing sex puts the focus where it belongs, on your relationship with your partner instead of your your position on the totem pole with your peers. Correct. Your, your, your peers is not, your friends is not laying in the bed with you. Your friends is not on that, on that relationship with you to be intimate with you. Your, your, your peers is your peers. Your friends are your friends. What you trying to please them for? At the end of the day, if you decide to be in a relationship with them, who you going to be in a relationship with? I hope not your friend. Because if your friend, say if it's a girl and a girl, you going to be in a relationship with your girlfriend? With your friend? With your friend that's a girl? Come on now. And I be, I be, I totally agree. I totally agree. And that's why I feel like, that's why I feel like sex is overrated and I love that's a whole different story time. I feel like sex is overrated at times. At times it is. At times it really is. And I don't I don't get it. I don't get it. And these the generation today is is going to continue to have children at a young age because they feel like oh that's what I fit in at. That's what if I lose my virginity, that's the that's a big thing. That's the like who are you trying to please at the end of the day? Who are you trying to please? Yourself? Like, come on now. Are you really respecting your body, yourself? Come on now. But that is the end of this video. I hope y'all enjoyed this story time. The talk to says, the talk to says was not in the car today because it was hot as hell, like I said once before. But I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Send me some more topics in the comments down below. Um, also, you can send it to my DMs at the Gorgeous Sassy. The, the, you can send it to my DMs at the gorgeous underscore sassy two underscores that's um on instagram and the gorgeous underscore sassy on snapchat and life of sassy life of sass on twitter um make sure y'all tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe to life of sassy and come join the plush gang 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 make sure you tell your mama your daddy your uncle your brother and everybody else your friend that friend to subscribe to life of sassy as well and thank you for watching we out